the partnership we've built in this area. I'm now honoured to introduce my friend and partner, Gucci CEO Marco Bazzari, alongside the wonderful Jada Pinkett Smith. And please welcome back co founder of our amazing partner, Chime for Change, Selma Hayek Pinnell, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. At Gucci and Chime for Change, we are proud of our ongoing commitment to gender equality. On this stage last year, along with our co founder, Beyonce, yeah. We were excited to join forces with Global Citizen to announce a multi-year partnership. Over the last 12 months, we have focused our efforts on working to level the law against gender discrimination. And thanks to the action taken by all of you, Global Citizens, we have seen incredible progress already. Time for Change is a global campaign to bring equality of opportunity to every girl and every woman everywhere, no matter where they are born or where they live. I am proud. I am a proud member of the Time for Change Advisory Board, and I'm honored to be representing a movement of strong women and men Here tonight, including my friend, Selma Hayek Pinot. Oh, inequality exists everywhere, even here in the United States, but in some places around the world, many women do not even have the right to own a home or to see a doctor without their husband's or father's permission. This discrimination has to end. That is right. In some countries, women are murdered by their own family members for marrying the man they love, for refusing to enter into an arranged marriage, or for having a relationship with a man not approved by their family. And it is shocking that in this day and age, the law often allows families to get away with such murders either because the law has exceptions for these so-called honor killings or because legal uh, procedures allow murderers to be pardoned. Kandil Bauch, a Pakistani actress and social media star, has, was murdered by her brother earlier this summer. This tragic injustice sends shockwaves across the world. Please, pay attention to her story in this short film. Unabashedly bold, fiercely beautiful, but above all, controversial. In 2015, Kandil Baloch became Pakistan's biggest social media star. Outspoken and unapologetic, she pushed people's buttons like no other. Kandil's words and actions polarized a nation. She earned thousands of fans, but also condemnation from religious conservatives who viewed her as a disgrace to society. But she fought them off. Until the day she was attacked in her own home by her own brother, who brutally killed her for her family's honor. Welcome back, and you will see here breaking news. The model Kandil Baloch has been killed. His brother Muhammad Wasim says, "Yes, of course, I strangled her. I am not embarrassed at all over what I did." She fell victim to an honor crime, much like thousands of other women who are killed for honor in Pakistan. A child for change, we work with many brilliant and courageous women, some of whom 
are on the front line risking their lives campaigning on these issues. It is my great pleasure to be on this stage standing next to one of these women. She directed the film you just saw and uses her powerful voice to tell these stories and fight injustice. Academy Award winner documentary filmmaker, women's rights activist, and my friend, Charmaine Obed Chinon. I think it's important that all of us must speak out because there is no honor in killing a woman. Violence affects women around the world. Right here in the United States, three women are killed by their domestic partners every single day. That is why it is very important for all governments to fully investigate and record all such killings, all suicides, all disappearances of women that are taking place. And to ensure that there are laws to protect these killers. We commend the Pakistani government because it has taken the first step to say that it will close the loophole in the law that allows killers, like in the Eels, killers to walk free. We call upon them to make sure that this law is passed. But most importantly, I think all of us need to honor all of the women who have been killed, whose names and stories we do not know, by calling all governments to punish all killers of women. The world that we want to leave our girls and our daughters must be much safer than the world that we have inherited. Thank you.